minute and 20 seconds, we're going to see those snipers come back up as well. We'll see if Demon E goes after them, maybe Clutch, maybe Tiz Oxen. We'll see. And Scott, I know you're kind of following the red team over here. Who do you want to be watching here? Who do you expect to be the player that is going to step up, if anyone, to stop Dynasty? I'm going to have to go with Demon D on this one, just because of my statement earlier. Alright, so Demon D it is, but right now we're going to stick on board with Maniac. He's set up to stop the flag of Missed Grenade. That is going to cost him, and Destin almost out BRing him, staying alive with the flag. He has plenty of cover, and he's moving at bottom middle. That is a crucial error on Maniac's part. We're jumping on board with Destin. He's running this third and final flag home. And that's it for Dead once again for Believe the Hype. Dynasty is dominated. All right, there you have it right there. Dynasty with a 3-0 victory on Narrow CTF to take game one of the best of five series here in match number one on our Friday night kickoff. And we're going to gear up and get ready for game number two coming up right here. And guys, I'm, I'm blown away. Let's check out the stats here. I was, I predicted a 3-0 sweep from Believe the Hype. That's not happening. Already Dynasty with 1-0 on the board. Check out the stats here. All four members going positive. If you're looking at the assist, they're all almost in double digits with exception of Destin there. And they basically just controlled the game from opening to close. And after that game, Pure Gangster got up and said, too easy, too easy. So there's just some trash talk going on here on the main stage. And here we go, we're going right into game two. Remember here at MLG, it's the first one to three, the best of five series. It's Team Slayer on the pit, one of my favorite game types to watch. And Scott, who do you want to kick this one off? I want to kick this one off with Tizoxic. Tizoxic, Tizoxic is our man. Tizoxic looking fresh. Who do you think, do you think he's getting snipered over here? I'm pretty sure he's getting the sniper, if I recall. Now we'll see how it plays out. Looks like all the players just waiting, talking a little bit of last minute strategy. The ref is getting them ready. And Coach Fade for Dynasty, he's ready to go. He's calling out the strats, and it looks like Tizoxic. I think you're right. I think he's going for the sniper. And I like this play here. We saw it out of Believe the Hype earlier in the season, and they sent a guy up high, and then he drops down low for the sniper once he knows it's safe. And you saw the exact same strategy as they sent Cloud up on top of that snipe tower. But they gave the sniper rifle to Clutch, and we're going to Clutch from Believe the Hype. That's the exact start that Clutch needs for this game. He starts off, he picks up the sniper, out snipes the sniper. Once you out snipe the sniper, it's pretty much all uphill from there because if you get out sniped, it's not that big of a deal. It's that initial push. And so right now we're checking out as Clutch has the sniper rifle, Maniac has the rockets for Believe the Hype, and to open this one up, Enable actually was the first one to that overshield. He picked up a first kill, but now it looks like all of Dynasty is going to push back to their base. They're going to let Tzoxa kind of work with that sniper rifle, top snipe. And there he does as he picks off Clutch. We're switching over to the blue team. So a slow game in the opening minute, just 10 kills on the board. It's all tied up 5-5. Five to five. Maniac charging after Tzox. You can nice escape there. I'm just not a fan of sword, Chris. I, if you have a sniper, just avoid sword. I'm, you just you neglect your whole entire team, and it's pretty much just stat. And you just want stats when you go in sword. Just push bridge. Now, by pushing sword, it gives you the opening angle on their training and you know, a few other options there. But why, why do you hate when people go towards the sword? What would you prefer they do instead? I, if you're gonna, if you want to control courtyard, you want to push bridge in training. As soon as you get on bridge, you have so many ways to get out. But once you're in sword, you're locked in there. You can't really go anywhere else. At least if you're on bridge, you can drop down. You need to go for Ovi. You can go back to your training and get in your pit. There's so many escape rods. You want to keep the sniper alive. That's the main point. And you saw as Demon D almost lost that sniper to, to, to Zoxic over in Sword. He wisely backs up, lets his shields recharge, and then makes his way back towards the top of the sniper tower. Checking out the score here. It's 13 to 11, a slow playing game right now. And believe the hype, they seem to have the upper hand. They have a little bit more confidence coming into this one. And we're going to listen in with Believe the Hype as Demon D and Maniac are starting to go to work. You got to like the teamwork we're seeing out of this squad. Runway, 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 runway. I need help. No shield, they need sword nades. Runway, they need sword nades. Enable, no shield. Five seconds on the west. I don't ask, guys. Team indeed doing his best to take out two players over at the overshield and Nables waiting for it. Remember, he was the first one to get it, and I believe the OV was burnt. Oh, that's 
He just took out the sniper. He just beat down an opponent who had the jump on him, and now he's going to work. He's on a killing spree. Tizoxic really stepping it up here for Dynasty, and they're now down by just one kill. Yeah, and you know that? Definitely a huge move right there. It's all tied up right now. They were down by five or five or six kills or so, and Tizoxic just helped them bring it right back in. Now down one, but and I feel like I'm watching Pistola here, Scott. Yeah, he reminds me a lot of Pistola. But uh, the reason this all happened was because believe the hype set up just to get that overshield and when that falls through you're on spawn and they either have the overshield born burn or they have your sniper too so that just leaves them in a funk that they can't really get out of you have to set up you have to have a balanced strat if you're trying to get the overshield put two guys there and then send a flank through green so you get them get them trapped Farouk agrees yeah definitely you gotta, you gotta get boxing you can't maybe send all four people after one objective you're gonna lose in a slayer match i can't even look at you the mustache is so distracting <laughs> It's awesome. I've been trying to work on mine. It's been like three days. I've been going, growing three weeks and you can't see a hair. Eh, bad genes. Anyway, we got Cloud going to work with the battle rifle. And Scott, I switched to Cloud because he's been winning his last three battle rifles, battles that I've seen. He's really starting to heat up. And he's kind of a, one of those free-for-all players that I expect to go off this tournament on Heretic. I, could, I see where you're coming from on that. I think the main thing about Cloud is that he is... Yeah, you're right. I can't even argue with that. I was going to try to, but I can't. You know, I just make great <laughs> statements all the time. We're watching as Cloud is pushing in after Destin. Destin warping up, and Cloud's going to go steal, steal a sniper rifle. Yeah, he's ready for him coming up in about one second right now. And he's getting called out, though, by Dynasty. All guns are aimed at him, but that's going to open up some opportunities for the rest of his team to push in as we got Demon Deep with the sniper rifle on the bridge, and Cloud really just trying to stay alive. Finally catches to Zoxic, and now they have both sniper rifles to work with. This is huge for Believe the Hype, and Demon G just went off picking up the double kill with two perfect headshots. Yeah, talking about controlling the power weapons, controlling the map. They are definitely doing as they're seven kills away from winning this and tying it up here one to one in our first match. And you gotta love the pinch here we're seeing from Believe the Hype. Check this out. You have Demon D controlling half of the map. He's forcing the opponents to run away from him and run right into the shots by Cloud. And as soon as I switch away, he picks up the double kill and killing spree. And he's going for the stick, but he's gonna be taken down. But a nice push from Believe the Hype, and now they're just three kills away, Scott. Yeah, you're going to see this Snipe 2 strat a lot from all the top teams. They realize as soon as you get top sniper of the other team's base, that you're pretty much guaranteed the win because your teammates can do almost whatever because you have to kill the guy top of your Snipe because you have to get your snipers when they spawn. So it just makes them keep that attention on the top sniper, and then you just end up getting destroyed from behind. And you got to love the patience from Demon D. He had players lined up in his reticle, didn't pull the trigger instead, sneaks behind him, gets the killing spree, and we have a one-to-one -one tie, and Maniac's talking some trash. And clutch. So in game two, believe the hype bounces right back. All of their players going positive or with a push. Check out the game out of Cloud. 12 or clutch 12, 12, and 14 assists. Really just a whole lot more teamwork there from Believe the Hype. And they had an awesome push at the end. Yeah, that push at the end pretty much set them up for the win. Once they got control of top sniper, it was all downhill there for Death Dynasty. All right, we're coming out. Guns are blazing right now. Believe the hype won. Dynasty won. We're all tied up in our first matchup. You guys don't want to miss the outcome of this one, so come right back right after these messages. <laughs> 